All right, from Antioch, Tennessee, and Lighthouse Christian School, Steve Olivas. Steve O, bringing you the action a little bit late, but better late than never. And I'll tell you this, being a little tardy did not hurt attendance, as there was a line of people waiting to get into the game tonight. The referees make their triumphant appearance onto the court. They must have flown in from some of the recesses of Europe. They made it through the airport, running with Samsonite luggage. I'm trying to fish for a sponsorship here. Music City Kings against the Georgia Kangaroos. It is Saturday night and we've got basketball. I'll get you the starting lineup as Coach Eric E. Money Bell gets his troops assembled. Coach Brian up from Decatur, Georgia with his Georgia Kangaroos squad. The crowd eager, champing at the bit in anticipation of basketball. I'd like to congratulate everybody who had a birthday during that delay. <laughs> the referees are embarrassed, but seem to have good humor about it. All right, Music City takes the floor. We've got number five, Jamel McIntosh. Number one, Michael Neal. 13, Kalen Holt. Who else is out there? Number two, Alan Rogers. Who am I missing? Number 35, Racer X, Xavier Ferguson. Music City about to take the tip. Georgia looks like they've got a little bit of a height advantage on us, but what we lack in size, we make up for with enthusiasm. As the Music City Kings are a gritty bunch, this looks like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar against Muggsy Bogues. We're gonna see how the tip goes, but I am going to make a prediction. We're gonna be on the defensive side of the ball. We are about underway and we are, holy cow! I'll tell you what, McIntosh with some ups almost took that away from big number 40. Georgia drives into the lane. It gets blocked. Nice play by Ferguson. Kicked out to number 25 for Georgia. Steps behind the arc and misses. That one rimmed off, and it looks like, oh, man, that looked almost like it was off number two for Georgia. Music City, a little bit of protest coming from the bench. The ref says it went off number one, Michael Neal. Georgia working it into the lane. Nice job plugging up the lane by the Music City defense as Kings fall back into a defensive stance. That ball gets knocked away, and it looks like it was last touched by Georgia. The Kings with their first possession of the game. Brought up by Allen Rodgers. Rodgers whips it into the corner for McIntosh. McIntosh looking all the way back across to Rodgers into the middle. That gets knocked away, but a foul on Georgia. First foul of the night. Number 40, big number 40. Let's get him into foul trouble. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Music City inbounding the ball from their back stripe. Georgia takes that one away. Music City is going to win the race down. Nice play by Kalen Holt. Knocks that pass away and out of bounds. Holt with some hustle getting down the floor. Music City still with the same starting five out there. Georgia about to inbound the ball. 11-10 remaining, three-pointer from Georgia. They've taken all the shots so far. They try to punch it out to the point, man. It's picked up by Holt. Holt all the way down to Michael Neal, and Neal with the first points of the game. Michael Neal from Kalen Holt on the layup. Two-nothing Music City. Music City with a spirited defense chant. <laughs> As this is bringing us back to our college days. Nice job, turn and shot by Georgia, but rimmed out again. Georgia's been frustrated. All the way down comes Rogers, kicks it out and off the rim. Georgia with the rebound. 33 for Georgia, tries to hit his man with a lead, does from the corner, rims out again. The Kangaroos can't put one down. Here comes McIntosh, he gets hammered on the way up. He might be shooting for that one. Number 33, foul on Georgia. Another one of their big guys. It's a couple of fouls for the big men on the Kangaroos. And to the line go the Music City Kings. They'll be shooting a couple. This is Jamel McIntosh. McIntosh taking a look. 
putting it up and just off the back of the rim. Neither rim has been very forgiving. Georgia hasn't found the bottom of the net yet. Music City, another one rims away. McIntosh, he wants to have that one back. Looking frustrated, but getting back on D. Here come the Kangaroos, whipping it around the perimeter. Far side, 25 behind. Looked like he hopped on that one, and he did. Traveling is the call, and a turnover for Georgia. Music City inbounding the ball from just in front of their bench. Eric Moneybell, he, Moneybell, I put the accent on the wrong word there. Eey, money shouting some last second instructions to his troops. Rogers brings it up in the point guard position and takes a look. He surveys the landscape, trying to find somebody open. McIntosh cycled out on the far side, but Michael Neal picks up the ball and takes it back high. Big three pointer and down for Neal. Neal's got all five points for the Kings as the Kings take a five to nothing lead Georgia. It's not for a lack of shooting. The Kangaroos have put a lot of balls at the net, but another one rims out. Music City doing what they can on the off or the defensive boards. Georgia's got a little bit of length on them, but Music City is hustling. Another one rims out for the Kangaroos, and they're able to grab the loose ball in the far corner. Around to the far perimeter, and 33 is fouled as he is shooting. 35, Xavier Ferguson with that foul. 33 will be shooting for Georgia. Heather having a little bit of a problem getting you the shot through E-Money and Xavier Ferguson. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if that one went in. <laughs> I'm guessing it did not. Are you kidding me? Georgia's got to be 0 for 10. I haven't kept track of the shots, but ah, Georgia finally gets their first point of the game. And there may have been a lane violation. Oh, I'm sorry, 33 was outside the arc, so he will get three shots on this one. My mistake, I beg your pardon. Here he goes again. It is up and it is down. Georgia cuts the Music City lead to three. Five to two, Music City. Allen Rogers brings the ball down, spins it out to Kalen Holt, and then pulls it back high. Music City, a lot of movement under the basket, trying to keep the defense on their toes. Nice inbound, inward pass from McIntosh, but it gets picked off. Georgia with the long bomb off the fingertips of number 33, who points at himself and says, my bad. Looked like he got a full palm on that ball. He just couldn't control it, so Music City on the turnover brings it back down. 8.45 remaining in the first quarter. Music City with a 5-2 lead. All five points scored by Michael Neal, and he is the ball carrier. Neal taking a look. Taking a look. Georgia letting him have a little space. Here comes Neal driving in. Far side, kick back to Ferguson. Ferguson looks around. Out to McIntosh, who rims it. Georgia with the defensive rebound, and here they come. Music City tried to box him into that corner. He was able to get the shot, the pass away to 25, who puts it off the rim. Georgia continues to struggle from the field. Long three-pointer. That one rims out. Almost over the back there. His number 40 was reaching over one of our guys to slap the ball away, but Music City is outquicking Georgia. Up and in, oh, off the back of the rim goes Jamel McIntosh. Nice offensive uh, board by Xavier Ferguson. Back out to Neal. Neal taking a look, swings it around to Rogers, fakes the shot, steps up, then backs up, up and oh, nice arc on that one, but couldn't put it down. A lot of missed shots, the players are a little, probably, trying to get their legs back after that near 60 minute warm up they had. Music City with a defensive board all the way down. Nice defense by 25, but it looks like the call there wasn't a foul. Music City was grabbing the rebound and while they were doing so, Allen Rogers stepped on the end line. So Georgia on the turnover, picks up the ball and brings it down. Ball carriers picked up by Kalen Holt. Holt in his face, nice job on Holt to put pressure on the ball handler. 
in Georgia and down five to four now. Georgia scored four unanswered points and coach E Money, Eric Bell, gonna make some personnel changes as soon as we get a stoppage in play. Jamel McIntosh swings it out to Kalen Holt. Holt looking around. Over to Michael Neal. Neal has a man back into him. No call. Neal for three, back of the rim. The rims are too small or the ball is too big tonight. Number two bringing the rainmaker. Can't drop the shot. That goes out of bounds off of almost every Music City defenseman. They were all slapping at that ball, and we've got, I believe, a five for five change in personnel. There is a stoppage in play. 6.35 remaining in period number one. We're glad you've joined us tonight. We're finally underway, and so far, despite some miscues on shots, Music City does have a five to four lead. Michael Neal providing all of the offense from a foul standpoint, there's only been one team foul on Music City, and that's been on Xavier Ferguson. Otherwise, been a clean game. I will tell you, both teams struggling from the field. I should be keeping track of missed shots. I didn't anticipate this many. As there is a little bit of Activity over here at the scorer's table. The referees trying to reset the fouls on the scoreboard. Right now it reads four team fouls for Georgia and 16 <laughs> for Music City. We're trying to get those set back to two and one. But as it stands, that might be just something the scorekeeper is keeping track of. Okay. I'll call out the players as we get underway. Alan Rogers remains out for Music City. He is joined by 29, Michael Lott. Number four, Trey starts. Georgia from the corner, in and out. Some banging under the basket, but a nice defensive rebound by Starks. Starks swings it around. Good ball movement by Music City, and Jamel McIntosh misses on that layup attempt. Here comes Georgia, gets picked up by Rogers, who's all over him. Nice hands by Rogers. Not sure if that, oh. That is a hold on Trey Starks. Man, Rogers hustled back there and he was like a gnat all over. The Georgia Kangaroo player, nice hustle and good fast hands. Unfortunately, Georgia maintains possession. From under their basket, they'll inbound the ball. Georgia near corner, swinging around the perimeter to the top, to the far side, taking a look. Music City, hands in the defensive position, everybody taking a man, 13 with a three. That ended up falling, wow. That ball took about 12 minutes to make up its mind, but it went in and Georgia has their first lead of the game, 7-5 Kangaroos. Eric Bell gonna make another change. Georgia comes streaking in and throws a Potsy Weber over the backboard. Potsy Weber, of course, would shoot free throws over the backboard. That one wasn't a free throw, it was a layup. Michael Neal replacing Allen Rogers for Music City. The Kings are going to inbound the ball on the offensive side of the floor. 544 remaining, quarter number one. We're glad you joined us. Tell everybody you know to smash that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Get updates whenever the Kings go live. Big block, Michael Neal was in among the trees, but it was stolen away. Wow, fast hands by Trey Starks, who also gets snuffed. Two blocks by Georgia on that exchange. From under the basket, they use their size to outleap Music City, and they take a nine to five lead. Nine unanswered points for the Kangaroos. Music City jumped out to a five nothing lead. Nobody except Michael Neal has scored for the Kings despite many attempts. We'll see if somebody can drain one on this side to cut that lead. Number 24, Marcus Carter. I haven't called his name yet. He swings it out, almost picked off, and a foul on number two for Georgia. He thought he could out-battle and out-quick Michael Neal for that pass, but to no avail. One more foul on Georgia. I believe that's the third team foul. It is indeed. 
Michael Neal inbounds the ball to Marcus Carter. Carter swaps spots with him and gives it back to Neal. Neal taking a look. Picked by number 29, Michael Lott, who gets the pass from Neal. He's in among the trees. He skies it but can't put it down. Georgia with a defensive rebound, runs it up the floor. Music City very fast to get back on defense. That's an up and a down, but he may have been hacked. And I believe there was a foul. Number three on Music City. Wait, that doesn't make sense. That was on Georgia. No, it wasn't. 3-0 is the call. Phoenix Fausch, who was in the game, just came in for the Kings. He was called for that foul. Georgia cross-court pass. They had a man back on D, even though Starks was able to pick that one off. Starks wasn't able to make that one all the way back on a fast break because he was picked up by Georgia. Looks like that was off the kangaroo player, so Music City maintains possession. They'll inbound the ball from the end line. One thing that Fouch brings to the Kings is a little bit of size. Off the glass, kissed it off the rim and in. That was Michael Lott. And Music City cuts the lead to one, nine to eight now. That was a tray for Michael Lott. I forgot to mention he was behind the arch. So Music City down by a point, starts to get a little bit of Energy in their defense, 33 just took that away from Mike a lot. The taller man was able to win the rebound and put it back in, 11-8 ruse, kangaroos. They're giving Starks all the time and space he needs to measure that shot. Unfortunately, that one rimmed out and Georgia coming back hot. They put in a three, it is 14-8. Kings find themselves down by the biggest margin of the game, six points, and that doesn't stop Trey Starks from putting in a layup. That was kissed off the glass and in. Here comes George on the counter punch, slowing it down, working the perimeter. Number three, a long bomb. That hit the back of the, the, back of the iron and bounced all the way out to Starks. Starks taking a look. There's a bit of a log jam on the far side. Starks almost lost it. Got it back to Michael Neal, who freed himself up a little space and kissed it off the glass. Neal with seven points, and they cut the Georgia lead to two. Michael Neal with the hot hand tonight. Coach Bell playing him about as much as he can. And number two for Georgia was hacked by almost every hand that was on defense for the Kings. Ultimately, the foul is on number 29, Michael Lott. George will be inbounding the ball from their end line. All right, referee says play ball. And it's going. George almost mishandled that inbound reception. It's our cameraman, Heather, trying to get you the shots and keep you in touch with the game as there's a lot of activity going on. That was definitely off of Georgia. Number 33 for Georgia, arguing his case, but to no avail. Referee says, Music City Kings. Possession Kings, Michael Neal inbounding the ball. Looks like we've got a timeout on the floor. 3.36 remaining in quarter number one. 14 to 12, Georgia Kangaroos. The timeout on the floor is to wipe some perspiration off the hardwood. The uh, Kings supplied the referee with a towel and the ref doing the requisite janitorial duties. As he is mopping up. This is what happens when you're late. You get tagged to be the custodian. <laughs> we are having fun at Lighthouse Christian School. If you can't make it tonight, make it a point to make it down to one of the games. The stands are packed and the crowd is having a good time. Music City trying to give everybody what they're here to see, which is a victory. Allen Rogers takes his position. Well, now he's walking back onto the floor as the referees are finishing up their cleanup. 
Phoenix Fausch will be inbounding the ball. The sweaty towel comes over to the scorer's table and I could not be more delighted. Rogers sends it into Stark. Starks drives the lane, kicks it back out. There is a foul on White. It looks like Neal may have pushed off on that one. So in his zeal to find a little room, Georgia with some tight defense, Neal pushed off. Georgia with the ball, three, turnaround jumper. That wasn't close, off the front of the iron. Here comes Music City on the counter punch. Everybody coming down, Phoenix Fouch has to bail out Allen Rogers. Rogers sends it around, that may have, no, it wasn't traveling. Is that a three? That is a three, three-pointer. I believe that was Trey Starks. Was that Starks? Trey Starks with the three, he's got five points on the night. Georgia looking around, there was no one to pass to. He threw it off the front of the iron. There was a rebound. Georgia tipped it up back off the iron. Number 21 was trying to fix his headband when he received the pass, still got it in, and Georgia ends up making lemons out of lemonade. I don't know what the heck that meant. I think I said it backwards. All right, 16 to 15, Georgia reclaims the lead. Allen Rogers with the ball, surveying the landscape, looking for the open man. Kings are setting up their play, picked by Phoenix Fausch on the far side, and they work it around to Starks, who takes the top of the key. Starks looking, trying to find a pick. 33 all over him. Starks whips it around and out to Fausch. Fausch up and missed, air ball. Here comes Georgia on the counter, all the way down, and Georgia puts it up and in. Rogers was there just in case he missed. Didn't want to commit the foul. Georgia goes back up by three. We are under two minutes to play in the first quarter. It's been a tight game. Some errant shooting. Michael Lott put that one off the rim. A little move to get the defender in the air. Georgia all over those offensive boards. Music City trying to box them out. Georgia put it up. And there's going to be a three-point play coming up. Foul on Phoenix Fouch. That is his second foul. Georgia shooting to finish off the three-point play. They're already up by five. Xavier Ferguson and Kalen Lott come in off the Music City bench. They're joined by Jamel McIntosh and Michael Neal. Allen Rogers rounds out the fivesome on the floor. Number 24 for the Ruse taking the shot. That lunk clunks. There was an audible clunk on that one. There's an official timeout being called. I was looking down at my score sheet. I didn't see if he was tripped or if he fell. He seems to be in significant discomfort. He's holding his shoulder. E-Money checking on him. We're getting a nice look at Eric Bell's underpants as he leans over to tend to his fallen player. Looks like Kalen Holt, he fell hard and landed on the hardwood. That may not have been a shoulder injury. He's pointing at his knee, which is in a brace. He might have planted or twisted. Looks like he may have had an old injury that got re-aggravated as Tony Johnson coming out to check on him. There's always a paramedic for these games, so we're hoping that Kalen Holt is okay. He goes bouncing off. We're gonna wipe the floor down again. Up some of the perspiration. Coach Bell grabs that one. Holt is laying uh, behind us on the floor and is still in some significant discomfort. It does appear to be a lower body issue. I'm guessing he hurt his knee, but if we get an update, we'll certainly pass it along to you. In the meantime, we're back to live action. McIntosh inbounds the ball to Neal, who misses one. Neal's having a good night. Didn't have the hot hand on that shot as Georgia drives it all the way down and a highlight reel play as he puts it up and in. Seven point lead for the Kangaroos and they're starting to open it up. Music City has been cold from the field. That one goes up and in. Allen Rogers makes sure to end that bad streak as he gets 
Music City rolling again. Far side trying to walk it in. It looks like Lott might have reached in on him. And he did. Michael Lott with the foul. Lott's got a foul and three points. We may be over the limit as Georgia, I wish I could tell you how many team fouls we have, but Georgia going to the line. Number 24, putting it up for the Ruse. Up and in it goes, 23-17. Kangaroos up by six. This ball is live, that one goes up. Music City grabs the rebound. Nice job by Ferguson as he skies to get that one. Into Michael Neal. Neal takes a look, does a little stutter step. Block shot by Georgia. They've had a lot of those tonight. Back down, alley -oop gets rejected by Allen Rogers. Rogers on the counter punch now. Under the basket, up and down. We're going to get a three-point play for Ladarius Palmer. No, that wasn't Palmer. My mistake, Michael Lott. Nice feed to Lott. As he put it up, Georgia hacked him. He put it down. He's going to shoot to complete the three-point play. It's still a four-point lead by the Kangaroos. Michael Lott's got five on the night and looking to make it six. This will get us to 20, and it does. Michael Lott completing the three-point play. Georgia bringing it down. We're under a minute to go, 40 seconds remaining. Georgia kicks it out to the outside the arc. 33 can't put it down. That comes out. It looked like Rodgers was hacked again. He puts it up and in. Allen Rogers with his first bucket of the night cuts the lead to one. Georgia's gonna play for the last shot, it looks like. We're at the 22nd mark in quarter number one. Georgia stalls a bit, waiting for that clock to run down to where they're comfortable taking the shot. Coach Bryan for the Ruse might be calling it. 13 fake the shot. Music City tightened up their defense. Three seconds remaining. Looks like they wanted 13 to shoot it. He puts up a three and rims it out as time expires. So at the end of the first quarter, Music City fell behind by seven and by six on two separate occasions, but clawed their way back to within one, 23 to 22. We are gonna work on getting the foul situation straightened out on the scoreboard. Let me run down Music City scoring. I hope I didn't miss one. Let me make sure this equals 22. Seven, nine, 15, and four. Well, I did miss a little bit. Sorry about that. Sometimes I get caught up in the game and I'm not keeping score. I do know this. What I'm about to say at least happened. So Michael Neal's got at least seven. Allen Rogers with two. Trey Starks with four. Actually, he may have two and McIntosh has two. I can't read my own writing here. And Michael Lott has six. There is some ancillary scoring in there that I unfortunately did not get. Seven, nine, 13, 19. I'm missing three points. So somewhere along the way, we have three more. I apologize for that. I think I'm missing a foul also. Na uh, Music City's got five fouls. I've only got four listed here. I usually have a scorekeeper make the trip with me. That did not happen tonight, so we get the best of what I can do while trying to pay attention to the game. Uh, Phoenix Fausch has two fouls. Xavier Ferguson with one. Mike Lott with one. And someone else with one. All right, quarter number two underway. Music City swinging it around. Trey Starks taking a look, sends it over to Jamel McIntosh. Xavier Ferguson on the pick. Music City into the lane, up and down for McIntosh. He's got another two. McIntosh with four and possibly more tonight. Music City grabs the lead, 24-23. Georgia trying to get it back on a three. That's a heavy ball. That rimmed all the way out to the side. 
Music City picked it up in the corner and they're bringing it up the floor. Little razzle dazzle from Allen Rogers up and off the front of the rim. Georgia knocking the ball around. Music City almost got it, but it looks like there's a foul being called on Allen Rogers. Rogers reached in to try to smack the ball away, got a little bit of man along with the ball. Georgia will inbound from right in front of our scorer's table. Out to the half court mark as Georgia sets their offense. Out to the near side, up and down. That one swishes for three. Georgia grabs the lead. Music City finds themselves down by a bucket, 26-24. We're under 11 minutes in the second quarter, and all the way downtown goes Jamel McIntosh. That's six for him. Georgia brings it to this near side one more time. Didn't want to take the shot. Big number 40 swings it out to 25, who loses the ball and then gets hit. Ref says play on. Trey Starks drives it down, has it stripped, but it goes out of bounds on the Kangaroos. Music City will maintain possession and have an opportunity to set up their offense. Rogers will inbound the ball as Starks gives way to him. It comes out to Starks. Starks near side. Thinking about it, he was right on that three-point line, steps inside the arch and shoots it off the rim. Rebound Kangaroos, 25 with an awkward dribble behind the back, but I'll tell you what, he drained the shot like a pro. 29-26 Kangaroos. Allen Rogers brings the ball up the floor. Pick set by Ferguson. Rogers uses it to free a little space. That'll be short, and it is. Uh, Ferguson with the rebound, sends it up short. Georgia got fouled by Jamel McIntosh. McIntosh kind of wrapped him up. Looked like he was trying to avoid a fast break and just took one for the team. Eric Bell making some changes. Marcus Carter comes off the bench. Seeing his first action of the night. Georgia swings it near side, 21 with a head fake. Kicks it out to number two, who's outside the arch, guarded by Carter. He steps around a big pick by number 40. Carter ran right through it though. Good strong move by Marcus. Music City can't quite have a good answer for the height that Georgia's got on the boards, but they will out hustle. Streaking down as Michael Neal loses the ball. I think that might have gotten tipped. Georgia picks up the loose ball. Out to 25, who's putting up a three up and down. Seven point lead, matching the biggest lead of the game for the Kangaroos. There's an official timeout on the floor. Carter looks like he might have taken a finger to the eye as he is covering his face with his jersey coming off the floor. Refs are giving him some time to vacate. Carter coming to the bench. Money's gonna pull somebody to replace him, but the refs are gonna, well, I thought the refs were gonna roll it into a TV timeout, but they're saying, let's play. We'll set the five here. We've got Michael Lott, Michael Neal, Jamel McIntosh, Trey Starks, and who's with Alan Rogers. Neil thought about it, got 33 to pass him, and then put it off the front of the rim. Wow. Michael Neal just got a big number 40 elbow to the kisser as he went down hard on the offensive side of the floor. He gets up, ready for some action. Let's see if he can get some payback here, but instead gets stuffed. In the meantime, by the way, Georgia scores. 25 for the Ruse, thought that was a clean block, but the ref said he got too much ball. So foul on 25 means a shooting foul for Michael Neal. He'll try to add some points to his total of seven. Music City find themselves in a seven point hole one more time as there have been some unanswered buckets by the Kangaroos. Eric Bell. Tries to grab a few minutes, steal some words with his guys while Georgia's working out a personnel change. Music City sends the same five some out. Michael Neal at the line to shoot two. 8.56 remaining, quarter number two, 33-26 Kangaroos. Music City jumped out to a 5-0 lead. 
It's been a fairly even ball game up until the last few minutes. Neal rims one off the right-hand side of the hoop. He knew that one as soon as he let it go. He's going to try it again, though. Gets a little love from Allen Rodgers, and here we go. Up and down that time, Michael Neal with his eighth point of the game cuts the kangaroo lead to six. Here comes Georgia taking their sweet Georgia time. Swings it around near side, 25 steps inside the line where it gets smacked away. Nice D by Allen Rogers, fast hands. Rogers gets the ball and drives it down, but he loses it out of bounds. Kangaroos get the turnover. Ruse bringing it back. We are under eight and a half minutes to play in the first half. Rogers picks up his man. It's two on two at the top of the key. 25's got it. Takes a look, puts it up and down, nothing but net. Sweet shot by 25 with a good touch. There is now an eight-point lead, biggest lead of the night for the Ruse. Rogers kicks it up to Stark. Starks walks it into the lane, puts it off the right of the rim. Here comes Georgia. Quick counter punch. He took too many steps. Ref says play on. It goes up and down. Ten-point lead for the Ruse. Music City trying to find an answer. Timeout, Eric Bell. An answer for some of the height by Georgia. Some of the height brought by Georgia. Georgia is able to control the boards. Music City controlling a lot of what's happening down low, but when the ball is up high, Georgia has a distinct length advantage. Eric Bell, E-Money, calling his troops over. Get everybody settled down and trying to work on positioning. Music City doing their best to box out, but Georgia's got a couple of players who are so much taller, they're able to, without fouling, reach over the top of our guys. 7.50 to go, quarter number two. It has been all Georgia in the second half as they have opened up a 37 to 27 lead. Team fouls in this period also favor the Ruse. Two fouls for Music City, one for Georgia. Scorekeeper banging on that buzzer, trying to get the huddle to break up for Music City and that does. Jamel McIntosh going to be inbounding the ball. Looks like to Allen Rogers. Rogers takes his point behind the half court line and it is inbounded. Rogers, two on two. Top of the key, pick again by Ferguson. Rogers moves around, it gets stuffed. Georgia, they'll have double digits in blocks tonight. That one was tipped up. Nice job by Starks to block that one. Starks brings it down and puts it up and in. Trace Starks with a highlight reel. Got the fast hands, got the rainmaker. And the Kings pull within eight, but Georgia 25, lighting it up from downtown. It's a 12 point kangaroo lead. Rogers trying to settle the troops, bringing it down into the offensive zone. Takes a look, puts it up, just kissed that front of the rim, didn't have enough to go down. It gets rebounded by the Ruse, who bring it up the floor. Side out, I didn't see what happened. It was on this near side, which is hard for us to watch from our vantage point. It may have touched the end line, so Music City brings it back up the floor. Trey Starks taking a look far side. Picked by Ferguson High, Starks takes a step back, does it between the legs and a behind the back. He was almost fouled as 13 was able to stop before he ran him over. Rodgers, Neal, bottom of the net for three, Neal. 11 points on the night as Michael Neal has over a third of the total for the Music City Kings. Georgia brings it back down, up by eight. They put up a three and that goes down. Georgia answers point for point. 11 point lead for the Ruse, 43-22. I'm sorry, 43-32. Rodgers trying to dribble around, couldn't quite do it, lost the ball, just lost the handle on it. Kangaroos can't put it down. They keep a man back. Neal for three all alone and hits the bottom of the net. 
Neal's on fire tonight. Michael Neal with his 14th point. And we are cut down to eight. Georgia by eight. Music City all over defense. Fast hands. Who was that man? It was Michael Neal stealing the ball. Music City top of the key. Rogers thought about it. Stepped in and traveled. Turnover by Rogers. Allen thought he saw a seam in the defense but got stopped. Change of possession. The Kangaroos will be bringing it down. 5.28 remaining. Quarter number two. Referee called a timeout for a change. Eric Bell sends Phoenix Fauch back into the game. Trying to get a little beef under the basket. Looks like Marcus Carter has returned to the floor. Carter got hit in the face earlier in this quarter, but it looks like he's back for the attack. Georgia driving into the lane. They're calling a charge. Georgia with the charge. <laughs> Music City took one for the team. Georgia's got some big boys crashing into the boards. I didn't see who on Music City took that lick, but he bounced back up. Trying to work out the perspiration on the floor. Foch about to inbound. He does to Michael Neal. Michael Neal, Phoenix Foch, bringing the ball back down the floor. Neal taking a look. We're winding down to about five minutes remaining in the game. Neal dances outside. Oh my gosh, Neal cannot miss. Michael Neal, 17 points, and he's hit the last three three point shots he's attempted. Georgia sends it under. Hard pass couldn't be handled by their man. It gets sent back up. Rebound, Ruse. Getting smacked at. Nice job by Neal to stop that one from being put back up. Georgia near side, another three for the Ruse. 46-38 now as they extend their lead to eight. We're under four and a half to play. Neal seems nonplussed. He gets picked up by number two, who gets picked off by McIntosh. Nice pick by Tosh into Phoenix Foes. Turnaround jumper off the rim, Georgia rebound. Carter was crashing the boards. It ended up bouncing over his hand. Cross-court pass, dangerous pass by Georgia. On the far corner, how did that go in? That ball never cleared 10 foot five, but it still hit the back of the iron and bounced in 49-38, 11 point lead. That was a line drive. He threw a laser beam and it ended up paying off. We need a little luck for the Kings here. Driving in off the very top of the glass. Starks can't put it down. Here comes George on the attack. I think that's a foul on McIntosh. It is not my mistake. It's on Marcus Carter. Referee says we are able to make a personnel change. First foul on Carter. Georgia will get the inbound. Third team foul on Music City. We did get the scoreboard straightened out, so I am able to let you know what the foul situation is. Georgia's been living in those corners. That one didn't go down. That'll be a three-point opportunity for Trey Starks. Starks coast to coast, put that one up and down and gets fouled. I've got Starks having six points. He may have a few more than that. I will reconcile the bank statement at halftime with Tony Johnson, the official scorekeeper. Starks going to the line to shoot one. Kings find themselves down nine. Fausch comes off the floor and is replaced by Xavier Ferguson. Starks, it goes in. Trey Starks finishes off the three-point play and brings the Kings within seven. TV timeout, official timeout, with 3.26 remaining in the first half. Music City has pulled even after finding themselves spinning around in the Georgia Kangaroos taking a 10 and then an 11 point lead. It's cut down to seven as the Kings trying to gather some momentum to bring some positivity into halftime. Coach Bell calls his team around. Eric Bell hung up his sneakers after a long playing career to coach the Kings this year. 
Kings may need to recruit a little height on their next recruiting trips to the recesses of Europe. As coach, not coach, sorry, team owner Tony Johnson scouring high and low for some of the biggest men who can play some hoop. Apparently, many of them live in Atlanta and Decatur, Georgia. They've got some big boys on the team. Timeout is over. We're about to get back underway. 49-42 in favor of Georgia. 3.26 remaining in quarter number two. Music City breaks out with Ferguson, Carter, Rogers, Starks. Wow! Coast to coast and down. Dog, gone it, and McIntosh. McIntosh is the last of the five. I don't know how that one went in. It almost kissed the ceiling. 51-42 and traveling is the call on the Kings. Kings couldn't make that pass before he came back down. Here comes Georgia. Georgia's got a big lead and all the momentum right now. Swings at far side, another three. That rims off the top of the iron. That's a hustle play by Rodgers. Rodgers made this whole play happen, and he gets hacked. He deserved every part of that one. Rodgers was able to pick the pass off, brought it coast to coast, and gets fouled on the layup. He'll go to shoot two. Three minutes exactly remaining in the second quarter. Rodgers trying to cut this lead. If he makes both, they'll be within seven. Referee trying to get everybody organized here. Coach Bryan having a couple words with number 13 on Georgia, and we are about to get the throws. Allen Rogers on the line. Off the back of the iron. Rogers with a couple points on the night. He's got another shot coming, trying to cut the lead to eight. Takes a look, puts it up and down. That one needed a little help from the iron, but Rogers drained it. 51-43, Kangaroos. 21. Cross-court pass back into 33. He's able to corral that one. That was a hot pass. All the way up and out. Referee says King's ball. Georgia's rebounder was there first, but wasn't able to handle the hot potato as it goes out of bounds. Kings bring it down. Starks, far side, takes a look. Sends it over to Jamal McIntosh, who drains it. McIntosh with his eighth point of the game. Six-point lead for the Ruse, 51-45. Carter on defense. Number two, a no-look pass over this side, and number 13, three-pointer. Wow, Georgia missed the three-pointer. Number two almost touched the top of the backboard coming in for that rebound, not able to get a handle on it. Foul Georgia, McIntosh going to the line. Good strong move to the hoop by Jamel McIntosh, and he is rewarded with two free throws, trying to cut this lead to four. McIntosh, if he drains both of these, will hit double digits in points. Allen Rogers coming to take his spot. They needed another man on the line. Up and off the side of the rim. McIntosh won't get 10 on this trip. We'll see if he can get nine. I'm getting back in the swing with the scoring. We'll figure this out. McIntosh up, same side of the rim. That caught enough to drain. As the lead is cut to five, here comes Georgia, fast, hot, pulls up inside the three-point arc. Nothing but black shirts for that rebound as he pulls it out cross court to the near side and out of bounds. I think that went off of Rodgers. It did, Georgia will be inbounding from behind their end line. Ferguson trying to clog up the middle as Georgia wanted to run a sneak play all the way out that almost landed on our table but 13 with those long arms was able to grab it number 24 stays outside the arch he's putting one from way downtown that one bounces off of several players and ultimately grabbed by Allen Rogers Rogers to Trey 
and the bottom of the net. Starks with a big three. That was an important bucket. Starks hits double digits, and we're only down by a bucket. Number two across to 13, who puts it up and rims it out. Unfortunately, Georgia grabs the offensive rebound and brings it back outside the arch. Into the lane, two gets nailed a couple of times. Georgia with all the rebounds, and we're gonna get a three-point opportunity for number two. Boy, Georgia with three straight offensive rebounds. Xavier Ferguson picks up that foul. That's two on Ferguson, and we're going to get the shot to finish the three. 53-49, Georgia extends to a four-point lead and possibly five. Ferguson goes and takes that near spot to the hoop. The ball will be live as two puts it up. Georgia crashing the boards, just shoving us all over the place for the rebound. Not that time. Trey Starks picks it up. Starks, near side, outside the arch, drives into the lane and loses it. I think that went off his shin. 13, oh, he went right around. Nice move by 13 to get around Allen Rogers, who hustled down on defense and caused all the havoc he could without creating a foul. Rogers working the point, brings the ball over the half court mark. Taking a look around, he's picked up two on two. Offense and defense at the top. Hands it off to Trey Starks. Starks gets picked up by number 24. Georgia with a little bit of life in their legs. Allen Rogers trying to do a little fancy dipsy do. Behind his back, almost lost it, picked it up again. Hand off to Michael Neal. Neal hits the brakes, can't get away from number 24. Gives it back to Rogers. Rogers has Starks up high. Sends it far side to McIntosh. McIntosh looking for an opening. McIntosh through the legs, far side of the key, drives the lane, loses the ball, but it got tipped. Georgia is incensed by that call. McIntosh got banged up on the play. So he's sitting under the basket. Coach Bryan for the Kangaroos arguing with the referee that that was not tipped by the Roos. There's only 5.5 seconds left in the half. That was an important possession as Music City is going to get the last shot before halftime. Six point lead right now for Georgia. Music City trying to cut into that and take momentum into the locker room. All right, Allen Rodgers will be inbounding the ball. Music City setting up the last shot. Looked like he had McIntosh for a second. Ferguson puts it right on the feet of, oh no. They're gonna shoot, boy oh boy. There was a little miscommunication near half court. Trey Starks picks up that foul. It's his first foul of the game. He fouled the guy to at least make him earn these two points. He wasn't gonna give an easy layup to the basket. Man, Music City mishandled that handoff at the top of the key, and Georgia picked it up for a fast break. Good hustle by Starks to get down. 13 shooting two, he nails the first one. There's less than one second remaining on the scoreboard, so if he misses this one, that'll be the end of the half, and if he makes it, Music City will maybe be able to throw it deep and tip it up. 56-49, 57-49. They open an eight-point lead. .9 seconds remaining. Georgia intercepts the pass and puts it in. Oh, my gosh. I believe that was a two-point basket. Another mental error by Music City who throws the ball away, and with .9 seconds remaining, Georgia grabbed it, and it was a three. Oh, Grabbed it outside the line and put in a three-point basket to open it up to an eight-point lead. I'm going to turn the mic off so that YouTube doesn't can us for copyright violation. We'll show you some of the dance contest. There's a 16-minute between-period break. After the dance contest, we will reset the stream so the second half is on a unique stream, a unique file. I'll go over the scoring as we're getting prepared for the second half, but in the meantime, I'll send everyone to a dance competition. 
11 point lead. That last point had to get put on the board as the ref indicated a three at, at uh, right as the buzzer. 60-49 Georgia Kangaroos. We'll come back in about 20.